Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Uncharted Golden Abyss. Uncharted Golden Abyss is a prequel to the first Uncharted game, Drake's Fortune. For the most part, I find prequels troubling and not just in video games. Prequels suffer from wanting to show something new while simultaneously trying to avoid damaging previous work that exists in the future timeline. Of course, that's easier said. Working within these constraints, Golden Abyss manages to successfully craft a compelling story that expands our knowledge into Nathan Drake without causing harm to the main series. Now let me be clear here, Golden Abyss is a good game and has a great story to tell, but it is also by no means required reading for the main series. Think of it as an optional appetizer before Uncharted 3 or 4. Currently this game is only officially available on the PlayStation Vita system and does not support the PlayStation TV. As Golden Abyss is an early Vita title, you can bet that it takes advantage of a lot of the Vita's extra features. The touchscreen is used for camera controls, climbing, sniper zoom, and other situations within the game. The accelerometer or motion controls are used in some of the parts to add a sense of realism to gun control and some situations where balancing Drake is a factor. Honestly, I think this game could be adapted to the PlayStation 4 and become a hit with fans that simply don't have access because they don't own a Vita. I will not delve into the plot here other than it earns the name Uncharted. And with all of that fanfare, let's get to the unlimited score for Uncharted Golden Abyss. Again. Like every other game on the planet, it starts with a 3. It is physical and digital, so it scores a point there. The immersion was very good, but did not exceed my expectations, so it gets 2 points. Uh, the gimmick. The touchscreen stuff was okay. Um, the balancing parts of the game were terrible. and I mean, very terrible. And uh, the camera can be... A little bit tedious so guys the gimmick it loses a point a uh, voice actors English gets a point game length too um, yeah I was kind of shocked when this game did not end at chapter 24 um, so I definitely knew that this was not an ordinary uncharted game uh, most of them actually end around chapter 24 uh, so I'm um, oh, sorry, game length got two points. Story got two points. Level design, two points. Complete experience, three points. Uh, this was definitely a complete experience. It exceeded my expectations. Um, sense of progression, two points. Fairness slash punishing slash RNG, two points. Technical difficulties. Camera angle slash control swapping stuff was really rough and it actually caused me to have a lot of issues so it loses a point there uh, game value to MSRP cost two points you know for the for the amount of MS for what the MSRP was um, yeah definitely this this met my expectation soundtrack three points uh, surprisingly, on a handheld system, the soundtrack scored a 3. It was really well done. It fit everything perfectly. Um, you know, I was just... They they hit it out of the park. Uh, visuals, 2 points. Difficulty, 2 points. Gameplay slash combat, 2 points. Um, you know, they they kind of fixed a few things. Um, it was it was pretty enjoyable with, con with the uh, combat. Controls, two points. Replay value, one point. Camera. Uh, some camera angles are, well, just bad. Um, so it only gains one point. Unlockable slash rewards, 
one point, and sense of accomplishment, two points. So that gives us a total of 36 points. Um, this game is really good, and I would highly suggest it if Sony would update it and put it on a uh, currently supported console. Um, I can't justify telling people to go buy a Vita and buy a copy of this game, which is already an, an inflated price as of this recording. Um, I just I can't do that. It's the 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 Vita market has exploded, and the Vita games have also exploded in value as well. And um, I just that that price is a little too high. If you can find a deal on it, go for it. Um, you know how much they sent me back? If you find other means to play this, definitely go for it. It's it's a lot of fun. It is definitely uh, a good game, and I do suggest playing it. I might not suggest trying to collect it. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.